Hello friends, welcome back to program with Akshay and this is the continuation of the master series part of our CDK. In this part, we are going to see AWS CDK key concepts overview where we are going to walk through the AWS key concept where the level of constructs and the construct library, the project file structure and some of the CDK important commands. So let's start. So to Walk through the key concepts of our AWS CDK. We have taken a sample architecture diagram to walk through the AWS key concepts of our CDK. So inside the AWS CDK, we have something called as app. So you can take it as our hello world application, which we have created in our previous previous video. So in the previous video, we have created a folder and inside the folder, we have created a sample application of hello world where we have created a Lambda and inside the Lambda where we have created the uh, we have created the construct and inside the construct we have called the Lambda. So basically that that is nothing but your application, OK, which compiles into various programming languages like TypeScript, Go, JavaScript, Python, C -sharp .net. OK, so that application we can write into this various programming languages and inside the application we can have number of stacks. OK, and that stacks can be like creating an SQL server, creating an API gateway, creating an DynamoDB. So we can have more than one stack in our application. OK, now inside the stack we have something called as construct. Okay, now construct can be more than one construct inside one stack. Okay, now here the constructs are we can create SQSQ, we can create lambdas, and in another construct we have something called as S3 bucket and Amazon DynamoDB table. And this construct can communicate with each other. Okay, so the application of walkthrough is like that for CDK. We have something called as app that is nothing but our root. So there can be one application for our CDK and inside the CDK, which which sits on the various programming languages like TypeScript, JavaScript, Python and C-sharp.net. And inside the application, we can have stacks. Now, suppose you can have stack like where you have to create an SQL server, you have to create a VPC, where you have to create VPC endpoints, time stream repositories and so on and so forth. So you can have number of stacks, the number of stack where there can be more than one stack. OK, and inside the stack, there can be number more than one construct okay now this construct can communicate with each other there can be more than one construct inside the stack okay so this is the whole overview of aws cdk okay now once you create and once you once you type the command something called as aws synth which we have seen the uh, in the previous previous video how it synthesizes the cloud formation template so it will create a cloud formation template what we have written inside the construct and stack inside the stack and it will it will create a cloud formation template and it will provision the resources through which command aws deploy command so this is how the provision of resources in aws happens okay so once we once we enter aws synth command it synthesizes the whole application for us where it creates the cloud formation template and once you create an once once you once you dip, once you type the aws deploy command it will it will provision the resources in the AWS. So this is how an AWS CDK application works. These are the key concepts. What is application? What is stack? What is construct? Okay, and how how we can synthesize the how synthesize the AWS CDK application? How we are going to deploy our 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 resources in the in the cloud for in the in the, uh, with the in the in the, in the uh, AWS account through cloud formation? Okay, now. We will see an AWS CDK lifecycle. Okay, so to see the AWS CDK lifecycle, we have something called as this diagram, where I have taken this from from the Amazon Amazon website, where where we have something called as a CDK app. Okay, and inside the CDK app, we have something called as CDK source code, and the CDK source code, which is nothing but your TypeScript, your C Sharp, your JavaScript, and so on and so forth, where you are going to where you are going to type the code, where you are creating lambdas, where you are creating AWS services, and once you synthesize synthesize the application, once you synthesize your source code, it will construct and it will prepare and it will validate and it will synthesize your your AWS CDK application with the help of cloud formation templates, and this happens with the help of AWS CDK CLI okay and once you type the command CDK deploy it then create a template which is nothing but an artifacts for the cloud formation and it deploy the uh, all the prov it will deploy or provision the resources in the AWS account so this is the CDK life cycle okay and this this can be this diagram can be found on this website I will I have provided a reference and I will link the reference in the description 
So these are the building blocks for AWS CDK where we have something called as application and inside the application we have something called as stacks where this is representing stack 1, stack 2 and stack 3. Assume that stack 1 is your SQL server where you have to create. This is something called as VPC and assume that something this is something called as DynamoDB. And inside the uh, stack 1 we have something called as construct 1 and construct 2. And similarly for stack 2 we have something called as construct 1 and construct 2. And similarly for stack 3. Okay, so assume that your app is nothing but your head of the company. Okay, that is nothing but a root where the construct defines one or more stacks. Okay, so we have app and where the app is having one or more stacks. Okay, the stacks are nothing but your, your, your team lead or your managers. Okay, assume that which is equ equivalent where it contains constructs. Okay, where it has the, the, has the unit of deployment. So stack is nothing but the unit of deployment in the CDK. Okay, and the constructs are, are nothing but uh, like the assistants or the or the or the workers who are actually working and deploying the application or creating the resources okay so this defines one or more concrete aws resources like you have to create sqsq you have, like you have to create lambda or you have to create dynamo db okay and these are represented as classes in your programming languages okay so we will see what are the level of constructs okay so we have something called as the architecture of cdk where we have something called as app we have stack stack one stack two and stack three and inside stack we have something called as construct where we have construct one and construct two beneath this we have something called as level level one so these are nothing but the level one constructs and this constructs are, are nothing but re which represent the cloud formation resource exactly how it is defined in the cloud formation okay so like see creating a cf a cfn table dynamo db table cfn database cfn bucket okay so these are like l1 construct okay cfn buckets cfn table okay so these are nothing but l1 constructs uh, under hood which are which are working as like for creating the database creating the tables okay there are another another uh, level of constructs which are nothing but l2 level of constructs which are written by the aws cdk team which help us our like the developers makes our life much more easier and perform operations these are nothing but like like the helper functions like if you wanted to add a, a, a grant read right to a an s3 bucket to a dynamo db table so these are nothing but an l2 construct okay so this this constructs are nothing as l2 constructs okay the example here is like suppose we have dynamo db table we have resource like construct for dynamo table did uh, db table which has suppose grant read write permissions so this are the part of the l2 level construct okay now we have another construct which is nothing but an l3 level construct okay so the combination of l2 and l1 that makes the l3 level construct so we have a we have a root level in, we have a root level something called as app and inside the app we can have a sub app okay so so that, that sub app is nothing but an l3 construct okay so the combination of l2 and l1 are nothing but the level of l3 constructs okay so those are nothing but level of construct we have something called as l0 construct but those are of advanced fundamental concepts for aws cdk to have a knowledge about aws cdk this three level of constructs like l1 construct l2 construct and l3 construct are more than sufficient to have the knowledge of aws cdk and to write any any program on aws cdk so we have aws construct construct the library okay which is provided by amazon if on google you search like aws cdk construct library the url like class construct you can open this and we can see the all the construct libraries which are provided for aws cdk like to create dynamo db table to create s3 buckets to create cognitos auto scaling and so on okay now we have documentation for dynamo db where we have something called as aws cdk lib for dynamo db module and this the language it's provided okay now we have something called as amazon dynamo db construct library which which we can provision table okay to provision the table we have something called as const table where the table is 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 declared inside the variable and we are creating a new dynamo db table where the scope is this and we specify the table name with the help of the partition key and the partition key what is the type of the partition key in case the partition key type is string here okay so these are the these are the like the 
the, the, the module how we should construct the, the, the DynamoDB table and we can create the secondary table index, we can create the hash key and where we can see the billing section. If you see, if you scroll down where we can see the how we can create the replicas for DynamoDB table and like they have provided simple examples how we can create uh, a stack uh, a stack and inside the stack how we can create a DynamoDB table. Okay, uh, so you can you can see that there are various examples for all the AWS resources and if you see there are classes like capacity table base and we there are structures like attributes we have something called as attributes then auto scaled option and these are is it is a great website to explore the how the how we can uh, construct any uh, how we can create any resource in the aws cdk so now let's look at the project file structure so before going to the project file structure let me go to our our sample application and inside the sample application we have our cdk project Okay, and inside the CDK, CDK project, we have the folder something called as bin. We have something a folder called as lib. Okay, so inside bin, we have the file name called as sample.ts. Okay, and inside the sample.ts, we have some import statements. And inside the import statements, we have the app, like const app is equal to new CDK app. Okay, and this app where we have ref reference where we have seen the project hierarchy. The, let me fire up the project hierarchy. We have seen the project hierarchy. App is nothing but the root. That is the CEO of the company. Okay. So this is nothing but the CEO of the, our application. That is nothing but the entry point of our application. Okay. And inside this, we have created a sample stack. Okay. There can be one or more sample stack. If you see, if you if you right click on this, we have something called as sample stack inside the lib folder. Okay. And it is referencing the lib folder. Okay. Import sample stack from the lib and sample stack. Okay. So so basically, like if we wanted to create more than one sample stack, we can create more than one sample stack here. OK, now we have initialized the sample stack and we have passed the scope of the app. OK, and where we can specify the name of the sample stack. OK, and to import, import the uh, reference of that sample stack okay and inside this stack we have we have like like suppose setting up the environment uh the, like the default region the account id so we don't do much of the stuff here we if we if we, if we uncomment this and if you try to execute this project you can see your your account number your default region and so on okay so this is the main entry point of our application where we have the root level that is nothing but the ceo of our application and that is the entry point and inside that we have the app ma uh, managers that is the hierarchy in that below the ceo we have multiple managers the, those are nothing but stack one stack two and stack three and inside the stack we have constructs okay so those are nothing but the team leads or the actual workers who are working so what is the main scope of this construct is to create the resources which we are which we are which we are designated to do in our case basically we have created lambda okay where we have something called as lambdas we have hello world.js and which is returning hello world and inside inside this lib folder we have sample stack and inside the constructor we have created a function and we have uh, specified the properties like runtime memory size the handler and the code part okay so this is inside the construct where we are creating the actual uh, aws resources so this is the overview of our application now in, now to go to drill down more more about the over uh, overview of this uh, project we have the uh, something called as cdk out okay this cdk out like if you remember in the previous video we have a command something called as aws synthesize where we are actually synthesizing our cdk project into cloud formation template so this cdk out are nothing but which are compiled into our json file or typescript files which are uh, responsible for creating the cloud formation templates and this cloud formation templates helps us to create the resources in aws so this is the these are these are the uh, f exact folder actual folders which which uh, which we create the resources uh, in, in in our account okay if you try if to see this like we have something called as version artifacts then environment okay then what are the what are the rules and and so on okay so this is this this is the significance of cdk out folder okay we have something called as sample.test and inside the sample.test we this is the this is the this is the sample sample file which is provided by aws 
when you create the uh, the the CDK project. Okay, then we have something called as Git ignore, like what exactly the folders or what exactly the uh, bin directory or DLL directory we need to ignore once you push the push the code to the repository. Now we have something called as cdk.json. Now if you try to explore the cdk.json, we have something called as exclude. Okay, so these are the excluded files which we don't uh, do, don't don't in include in the pipeline or we don't include while while building the project. Okay, now we have something called as app which which helps us to build or which helps us to compile our application. Okay, and this is nothing but in in this case we have something called as bin sample.ts. So we have bin sample.ts and inside the sample sample.ts which checks the entry point of our application which is nothing but the line number six which is nothing but cdk.app okay so basically we have the entry point of our application okay now if you see we have something called as package.json and inside the package.json we have various various dev dependencies and dependencies okay so these are the dependencies which are created once you create the the, the cdk project and we have something called as dependencies for aws cdk where this is the version of aws cdk and these are the constructs of uh, these are the constructs and these are the versions of the constructs which we are using in the in the current in the current project setup okay and this is the typescript version okay and these are like uh, like like once you create an npm i or once you create a cdk project the node models folders will get created where we are having number of node models folders like 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 signal signal r then we have something called as aws cdk amplify and and so on so this is the holistic overview of of, of our project architecture what exactly the significance of each and every folder or what are what is the significance of each and every every file which, which we have seen so so we have covered covered a lot of concepts here in this in this ses session where we have covered the key concepts where we have seen the project hierarchy how the aws cdk works where we have seen uh, what is what is the what is the hierarchy like we have something called as app we have something called as uh, stacks and inside the stacks we have constructs so we have seen the inverted tree of aws cdk we have seen the level of constructs like we have l0 l1 l2 and l3 and we have seen seen uh, like how the project overview or how the folder structure of aws cdk so this is the uh, this is the part where we have covered all the key concepts of aws cdk in the next part we are going to see the permissions lambda permissions we are going to see the important commands for aws cdk so thank you friends for watching today's video have a great day and happy learning